Eternity in Their Hearts, by Don Richardson explores the fascinating phenomenon of a belief in the one true God across diverse cultures worldwide. Throughout the book, Richardson presents compelling evidence that points to the existence of a common thread of monotheistic belief among various people groups, even those living in isolated regions with no historical contact with major world religions. Richardson begins by recounting his experiences as a missionary in Papua New Guinea, where he encounters tribes that possess myths and legends remarkably similar to certain biblical stories. He introduces the concept of the redemptive analogy, suggesting that God has revealed fragments of his truth to various cultures in ways that parallel the central themes of Christianity. These redemptive analogies, as Richardson calls them, prepare the hearts of these people to embrace the gospel when presented to them. Throughout the book, the author provides numerous examples of such redemptive analogies. For instance, he discusses the Wa tribe in Southeast Asia, who had a tradition of the peace child. The Wa people would offer a child to their enemies as a symbol of peace, mirroring the Christian concept of Jesus as the sacrificial Lamb of God. Similarly, the Santal people in India had a tradition of a man of truth who would die for others, resembling the Christ figure in Christianity. Richardson delves into the intriguing case of the Chinese culture, which showcases a remarkable parallel between their ideograms and certain biblical events. The Chinese character for boat includes the symbols for eight and mouth, symbolizing the eight individuals who survived the great flood in Noah's Ark. Such linguistic connections suggest the possibility of an ancient knowledge of biblical events in distant cultures. The author also examines the notion of a cultural Christian, someone who adheres to Christian-like principles without formal exposure to the Christian faith. He discusses the Lahu people in Southeast Asia, who practice a form of ancestor worship. While not explicitly Christian, this practice involves a belief in an all-knowing, all-seeing supreme being, resembling the attributes of the one true God. Richardson acknowledges that these similarities might lead to debates about cultural diffusion or coincidence. However, he contends that the overwhelming abundance of such parallels across various cultures cannot be dismissed easily. He argues that God has strategically placed these redemptive analogies throughout the world to prepare the way for the gospel message. Additionally, the author addresses the importance of understanding indigenous cultures rather than condemning them as godless or demonic. He emphasizes the need for missionaries to recognize and respect the existing beliefs and values of the people they serve, recognizing the seeds of truth already sown in their cultures. One compelling aspect of the book is Richardson's ability to weave together history, anthropology, and theology, presenting a cohesive argument supported by a wealth of evidence. His writing style is both engaging and scholarly, making eternity in their hearts accessible to a wide range of readers. In conclusion, Eternity in Their Hearts, by Don Richardson uncovers a thought-provoking exploration of the universality of belief in the one true God across diverse cultures. The book offers a compelling case for the existence of redemptive analogies and encourages readers to view indigenous cultures with an open heart and a discerning eye. Whether one agrees entirely with Richardson's claims or not, the book serves as a fascinating conversation starter about the universality of certain religious concepts and their potential implications for understanding human spirituality.